Hello and welcome, this is STR8. Today I'm going to start a new game for me. This is Inscription by Devolver Digital. First time I've played it ever and I've heard it's one of those games it's uh, best you don't know what's going on. So I'm just kind of hopping in on a recommendation from a friend. So um, looks like I actually had to continue maybe. I tried using graphic settings earlier so that's the only way I need to drag stuff around. Oh yes, I am here to challenge. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Yeah, squirrel, stoats, wolf, and wolf. Wolf. Alright, squirrel, there you go. Now play your stoat. Let's see, we've got Wazda controls. Those cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, that's creepy. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Bulls require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is, is the attack power. One. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the skill. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my Cody. My Cody dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Interesting. I suppose we'll go with the squirrel. How <laughs> dull. Okay. Hoping that I can get a wolf on the next turn. So let's go back. Two sacrifices. <laughs> If you're not, the piece of sacrifice would not remove from your deck. Suffering was real, but you will see it again. Okay, I guess I'll ring the bell. Because you're learning, I will pass. Alright, I guess we'll do a random card this time. A river snapper. So, I assume that. You only draw one card. Okay, beginning of your turn. So, let's see. These require two blood, two blood, so I guess I have to ring the bell. Three damage dealt, three weights on the skill. Pass. Okay. Guess we'll put a squirrel down. And that's it. won this match. They won't all be so easy. Interesting. I can see it's going to be a tough game. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You're lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two descendants of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, that's cool. The caustic adder from its poison bite is always lethal. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Hmm. Maybe I'll use cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, breaking case of emergency. <laughs> and have a second. Another useful implement. 
I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Hmm. You're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Boulders and stumps. Okay. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. Oh, that's interesting and creepy. I can sacrifice the rest of it, but you do have a squirrel. Let's see. Well. I do have a cat and I do have a squirrel. Perhaps I can do that. A wolf cub and put a cat down. Hmm. Can't do that yet. I could do a stoat. Here we go. I think that may be it. Let me double check. I can't draw from the deck. Okay. Mine an ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Oh, I wonder if it's going to turn into a wolf over time. Okay, so I can get a squirrel or something random. I guess we'll do something random. A wolf. That's going to require two sacrifices. Okay, we don't want to do that. I think that I can't draw blood from a boulder. Oops. Interesting. And I don't know what else we could do, really. Um, if I draw on one, we could throw a squirrel down or tip the scale. Oh, there's so many choices. Maybe I'll just wait and I'll get a squirrel on the next turn. Airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, well that's not cool. Okay, maybe we could put down River Snapper. Hmm. about can't draw blood from a blur you'll need okay yeah we don't want to do that so I don't know, I'm still figuring this out I think it's gonna take me a few turns to get good at this game maybe we will oh we gotta get the card first another wolf so let's get some squirrels and We'll throw down a wolf. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have a hard time if I don't do that. And let's see about a cat. No, nope, it requires a sacrifice. So I think we kind of want to keep things as they are. All right, let's see what happens. Uh oh, I lost. You see, this is a learning opportunity. Maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from the top of the barrel beside the door. Oh, that's creepy. Bring it here. I guess it wants it over there. Well, that's creepy. I'll sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh boy. I wonder if I have to replay the same mission. Let's see. Wolf Cub. 
And a sparrow makes for an inexpensive and feeble flying creature. Okay. This will do wolf cub. Why not? Stumbled into some strange thrones in the mist. You're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Cat or wolf cub. Um hmm. I still feel like cat might be useful, so let's do a wolf cub. Do I have to do another one? This one says pick me. Let's see what happens. Ah, a ghastly spectacle, but so the wolf cub now lives in this stove. Interesting. This is getting creepy, but fascinating. Behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh boy. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. One keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay, what do we have up here? Cody and the bat. My totem has granted my Cody the power of flight. Did they do that just because I looked up there? It almost looked like I didn't have a turn. Weird. Um, let's see, so I can't play that because I'll need to um, draw a card, but I'll also need to sacrifice too. Ah, oh, I should have went the scroll route, I suppose. Let's put the stoat down. We'll go after the coyote. Back on the board. I don't think I'll be able to put anything else on this turn. Whoa, got cleared that quickly? Alas, it's time for you to perish. Wow, well that went quickly. I wonder if I have to restart from the top. You aren't dead yet, this isn't purgatory. You may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I'd like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to mend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here's some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. I guess it has to be this one. Cost of two blood from the river snapper. And another. This time it will use its power and health. The numbers. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. This one. Three power and two health from the wolf. I'll choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. A sigil of many lives from the cat. I never did ask you your name. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's it. That's Jerry. <laughs> There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh, this is so creepy. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Another, here we go again, another challenger, perhaps at this time, perhaps he can understand bones. A resourceful possum costs two bones. You can gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Interesting. So, let's see, you're lacking the bones. Gotta get those bones. Okay, what do we have? So I guess this kind of just resets things for me as far as my experience. What does he have on the board? Rattler. Okay. Um, so I need to get something down. I guess maybe two squirrels is going to be the way to go. So 
I don't want to win, so I'm going to play another squirrel right away. And put down a wolf. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Do not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Well, cool. Oof. Okay. Squirrel or something random. This will take something random. Bullfrog. Let's put our possum down. And that's going to require a sacrifice and some of that, so we'll just go ahead and ring the bell. And another rattler. Okay. Guess we might as well play our squirrel. Get ready for more chaos. And That'll be that for now. We know the possum's probably gonna get killed by the rattler, right? Yep. And take a squirrel. Let's see about our bullfrog. What does it have? I don't know what that sigil's gonna do, so we'll just try this out and see what happens. Kinda looks like a shield, so maybe it's a defensive measure. Okay. Okay, we made a little progress. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Hmm. Let's see. I guess it has to be this one. Okay. Let's continue. Alright, what do we have? New York Coyote, but what did you expect from only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. An unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after, after dying. Okay, um, I'll take the cockroach, why not? Into, I'm kind of into these that uh, regenerate and stuff. You know you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Okay. We'll try it at some point. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. We'll get some bones, why not? Oh. I didn't realize that was a whole other set. I thought it was a weird animation. Oh well, I guess I've got a lot of bones. Feeling overbur overburdened enough with the full three items he carried on. So I guess we'll need to think about those backpack token or as a pickup spot. So Cody and a Sparrow. So well, we got bones, so we could set up a possum for the Sparrow, perhaps. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. And for, let's see, this coyote. I should have done it the other way, I think. Let me see, can you actually move these once they're assigned? Looks like you can't. Oh well. Um, squirrel time. There we go. And we will, I guess, just keep it like that. There's a way out for both those, and somewhere in this foul cabin, be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Hmm, I'll have to go look around the cabin after this one. Alright. This spot, you sure? Uh, I guess so. I don't think it's gonna let me go either way. Oh, 
and I have two for that one. Okay. There we go. Squirrel Tom. See the way this is going. Vicky do. Oh, concede. You may accept my surrender or you may finish this match slowly. Okay. Interesting. If you desire it, you may stand now. And allow me to play it. I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. Allows me time to plan your next encounter. Do keep your hands off my possessions. Hmm. I want to disregard that, and I want to do things anyways. Okay. Raven egg and the squirrel. Wonder if he's going to kill me for uh, touching stuff. <laughs> Feels like an escape room. Just saying, I wonder how we get rid of that. Oh, probably didn't want to put that out. <laughs> so many weird things. Um, about any of this. Behold the rule book. Mighty Leap card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Ah, uh, so that's what the frog would have done. Bifurcated strike a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left. <laughs> uh, not the roach. <laughs> I just saw that. That's funny. Trifurcated strike card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left, right, and center of it. Frozen way. Oh wait, when a card rain and sigil perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Let's see how many more of these. Oh wow, there's quite a few. It's some of them that are covered in things, uh, in ink or something. Okay. Well, I will probably need to keep a little reference handy while I'm playing this game because there are so many sigils. I'll just keep playing though. We'll discover them as they come along. A nascent raven, it is no less conniving in its incubation. Oh, hey, it's my card. Oh, I should have seen what the other ones are. I'll try playing it here in a minute. So we've got items, campfire, and something. Let's see what the fire is. I came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddle around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm me, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. He noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. I guess this is going to be a sacrifice. Hmm. Let's see, can we sacrifice ourselves here? Fire one of the poor S tier rank, enhancing its power. Mm. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Thought a word, he pulled the S tier rank away from the fire and left. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this is going to be a hard fight. The skull. He's smart or something. He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Ah. Okay, we'll check that out in a minute. All right, a wolf cub. Who can we put down? Possum. Cockroach sounds cool. But we gotta have bones for the cockroach. Four bones. All the bones. Well, I guess it might be squirrel time. And we'll put down the stove. And I think that that will be the start. Okay. We'll do a random pick. 
I don't, that's not very really good. I think we're just gonna have to keep going. Oh, is that an alpha wolf? Okay. How about squirrel card? We will see. We will sacrifice those two for a wolf wolf. I think that could work. Okay, and let's see, I don't think I have quite enough bones for the cockroach yet, but I do have enough for the possum. So let's put it there just to get a block going. I think that gives us a couple more bones as well. Okay. We won't be able to sacrifice yet, but the wolf cub will hit the squirrel, I think. Okay, we're just one bone away. And the bullfrog. Here we go. Now I think we should be able to play the cockroach. You have me here, I surrender. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, back up and look at in the rule book again. 273. I guess that's the um, code to the combination lock. Oops. Oops, I went past it again. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure whatever escaped that iron crypt. Is is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Oh, and a key. Okay, one moment. Okay. Now we have a key. See what goes here. Oh. Hmm. Well, one and two, we're trying to get five or something, let's see, this isn't immediately making sense. So we're trying to get five. So that gets us two, three, Let's see I'm trying to notice a pattern here, huh, two, one, one, three, four out of five. So it's like we have opposing forces here. Okay, there we go. A skink card. Forgot that I'd put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll delete you every so often. Let's see who is in here. So this is locked in. Ah, these aren't locked in. They can actually go up way differently. Okay. This is much more complex. Oh. Wonder if that one is stuck there now. 
three. I wonder if I uh, missed the opportunity here. I'm just kind of wildly clicking around here to see if I can visualize. There we go. Formidable creatures, those ants very well. I'll add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Oh, we got a couple more. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. So I guess that uh, you can't move it down, you gotta have something, at least on that one. This is so tricky. I just noticed that I can see the direction on these arrows too. That's why I was having difficulty moving it, is that you got to be clicking the top or the bottom of the slider to make it go in that direction. That's an interesting little detail. I should have noticed that earlier. So that one's not going to cross. Those can cross. Okay. This is more difficult because they don't have attack power on these. I think it, this is hull. So how do we make a difference here. Looks like this one is set. Okay, it's looking a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to do that. It took us down to let's see that moving this one all the way down. Okay, so this one gets us we'll go from three to four with that. Why would that make a difference? Thinking this emblem has to do something with it. Um we'll keep trying a little bit longer, but we have to bow out of it here in a minute. And this sigil the I think this might be aerial, and this is the aerial blocker. So let's just keep going for a minute. I feel like we got to be close. So that guy is a stuck, and I think that we might get it now. I'm gonna go up one more. Nope. Nope. There we go. It's just a matter of kind of working through the combinations. The caged wolf. Cool. I hope these cards are good and useful. Ah, uh, that's going to be hard. So this has that bifurcation attack thing that I saw in the rule book a second ago. And I don't know what this one means. Um, oh, this will be tough. This guy can't move at all, looks like. That guy can. Interesting. Oh, we got that one pretty quickly. I think that was luck though. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time you will understand its power. I guess this could be a totem, like the that it was using earlier on me. Okay. Um, well, cool. So what else can I do while I'm not here? Hmm. I wonder if that totem could go in here and I could get that. Um... Let's see, I don't see any mention of an inventory here, so. Okay, I uh, can't seem to open the door. Raven egg and a squirrel. Hmm, 
It looks like there's a little bit of buttons or something down there. No, maybe not. Okay, well, I don't know what else to do. Not to, I'm guessing we'll see a mention of a time somewhere at some point. Let me just kind of flip through these real quick. I'm not going to read them, just wanted to see if I see anything that looks like a hint. Oh, there's boons in this game too, so. And there's so much here. Items as well. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can play another round or two with this guy. You're stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Can you look at the pelts? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt, free of charge. Rabbit pelt, CD quality. Okay then. You're leaving already? Please consider my pelts. Hmm. I need more teeth for that one. Yeah, I don't seem to have any teeth, so. I guess I just have to take the rabbit pelt. Thanks for your business. Man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. You mentioned that the trader further down the road would reward you for them. Okay then. I wonder who the trader is. Try going this way. I haven't encountered one of these yet, I don't believe. Oh, it's this. Okay. I have encountered that. All right, who are we gonna sacrifice? Hmm. Maybe the cockroach. I think it's been kind of hard to play that with Nini Four. Interesting. I wonder what this symbol means on it. How about we do this throw it again? We like the ones that talk to us, right? <laughs> okay. You again, indeed. A friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be, I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Oh, the caged wolf. It's an interesting uh, thing. It has no attack, but I guess it's good for defense. Can't play that recently, but your squirrel is free. Ah, so that's how we see you. We right click the sigil. It's so unkillable. When a card bearing a sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Got it. Stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Okay. I guess we could do that to the coyote, perhaps. Why don't we try playing it there? I have no idea if this is a good idea. Oh, it takes bones. Shoot. Alright, I guess it's squirrel time. Squirrel. Hmm. 
Well, I did need that sacrifice, so that was maybe not the best idea. We'll do that. We'll put stowed in. Total misplay. Uh, hope not. Not see much else I could do with this guy there. Okay, let's see how that goes. A little bit worried about that porcupine over there. Don't know what else we could do though. This will just draw some squirrels. And what else? Sparrows coming in. Alright, let's go. Let's get our squirrel prepped in case I need to do the sacrifice. Okay, um, my boulder is going to break soon, so I think it just draw this guy. Interesting that they concede. I didn't think they would give up that easily. Okay. Encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but we were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Okay. A beehive. Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. The bee is defined as one power, one health, and airborne. Fledgling. The card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Turkey vulture. Wow, it takes eight bones, though. Hmm. What about this alpha leader? Creates creatures adjacent to a card bearing a sign gain one power. That sounds like a good idea. I think I want to take it. These pellets are most excellent. My thanks. Okay. How about we go to... We'll go to here. I bet this is some sort of boss fight, so we should probably level up. A group of starving survivors around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said, nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Okay. How about sending in something low power so we get a little bit more utility out of it? I'm curious about this ants. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that owner has on their side of the table. Ant spawner. When the card bearing sigil is played, an ant is created in their hand. Hmm. Maybe powering up the ant queen so that. Well, it's only going to spawn one. Okay. Maybe keeping the worker ant alive would be a better idea. Let's do that. I could, that could be a powerful situation. So one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket. He withdrew. Alright. I'm guessing this is a boss. Let's see how it goes. Oh. My boss battles are high stakes. Test your aptitude. With one flame, you either overcome them or die. If you're not, I will let you keep the smoke. <laughs> Oh, it's literally called the smoke. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you can hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee haw, twas a prospector. Prospector. <laughs> so strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe the loss is some of my memory. In the flash. 
guess it's talking about the camera flash and that thing. Okay. Well, let's see about the smoke. What is the smoke? Bone King. When a card bearing a sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Hmm. That's interesting. So that sounds like a good way to gain bones. The pack mule. Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So I assume it's going to move to the right. It has no attack, but 5 health, because it's going to be heading, I guess, over here, ultimately. So it'll be blocking. I'm not sure if it's going to go here or there. We'll have to see how it plays out. Maybe here. Okay. put down if we need those bones maybe we'll play this one so we can get some bones going and full frog is a single sacrifice but we don't have room to play it so let's go with the smoke first lots of bones Alright. Oh, it's going to move to the left now, so I wonder if it'll go all the way over here, if it's just kind of stuck. That'll be interesting to see how it goes. Alright, Ant Queen. Well, let's think about it. Could take off some of the power of the Cody if we play this guy. So that's good. And the Cody 2 and 1. Maybe we could get down the Bullfrog. I want to hold on to it, I guess. Yeah, that's going to get an attack on us. It's a little bit worried about that. I just don't understand the point of the pack mule. I guess it's a way of deflecting me though. I just sacrificed two to be able to play our ant queen. So maybe I can get her the squirrel here in the next turn. It's about the best I can do, I think. I wanna call in let's see, does it let me use my Hammer, slow down, you'll first need to draw a card. Okay. Um, let's see how this goes. Do that, we'll do that. We'll sacrifice two. We'll put her down. Power numbers, the Ant's Creed. So I guess it, it'll just need to go. Oh, it requires a sacrifice. It's not any stronger than the Ant Queen, though. Hmm. Well, I think it's safe to let this go on. Cody's going to start attacking the boulder if the pack mule moves it over again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's get another squirrel so we can get that ant on the board. There we go. I think this is a good setup for the moment. Okay, the bullfrog's only a single sacrifice. this a mall burrower when an empty space would be struck a card bearing a sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead hmm move 
to that space to receive the strike instead. Okay. Now, what do I want to draw? I think we'll draw one of these. Awesome. We've got plenty of bones, so we'll use it if we need to. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Ah, so we had to do two rounds. There's cold and gnome cards. <laughs> Whoa, are you serious? Gold, gold, I struck gold. Oh no, so I think this is just purely, is this purely unplayable? I guess it's gonna let me just build up uh, my cards. Bloodhound, Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. Well, I guess this buys me some time. Um, Possum only requires bones. So. I suppose I'm safe doing this, but let me replace it. I'm out of space. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't have anything else I can do. Get him. Okay. Awesome time? Perhaps? There is the skink. Loose tail. A card bearing sigil will be struck. A tail is created its place, and a card bearing sigil moves to the right. Interesting. Let's try. Let's try that when we have the chance. So, but don't. I guess we could do a squirrel sacrifice. That'd be better than getting rid of the possum. There we go. And. I think that should get an attack going, so let's see what happens. Bloodhound's going to take me out, of course. And an adder. Oh, that's getting nasty. Okay, we'll need to do that. And Wolf's going to take two sacrifices. I think the best I could do is play the possum, try to take out that Bloodhound, another hit. I don't know if that was the best idea, we'll see. I think I can't sacrifice two squirrels on the same spot to play the wolf. So that's unfortunate. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. I'm trying to take it out. Okay, I think it's safe to play this and then stoke. Fine. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. All right, adder. Are we gonna take that out? It's gonna be a problem. Touch of death. When the card brings sigil of damage to another creature, the creature perishes. Hmm. I'm gonna draw from this hand. Caged wolf. It's not ideal. Okay. This we're just gonna have to go with the flow. Okay. What can I get here? What can I get here? may be our best bet. Could play it and get rid of the adder at least. There we go. And the stoke came back to my hand, so that's good. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Alright, and 
There we go. I think that's it for this turn. Aha! Uh -huh. The pack mule was the key to this. Pack nabbit, my mule. <laughs> they gave us a bunch of new cards. So we got squirrel, wolf cub, raven, possum, and stoat. Alright, we'll send out a wolf cub. Oh, we're gonna draw a card first. We'll go this route. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Many lives. When a card bearing is scheduled to sacrifice, it does not perish. We have the black adder, indeed. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to try. Hmm. I guess we've got to get rid of that wolf, though. So who's got some power? Raven has some power. You can use a possum as a sacrifice to you. So we'll do that, and we'll send out the raven. I think that'll work decently. Okay. And we could go ahead and. Well, we could prep a wolf cub, but it's going to require a sacrifice, so that's not going to be worth it. Okay. Sweet. Allow me to light your candles once more. I can't, won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Oh, hmm. Uh, left is beft, middle is mid, and right is right. Uh, let's go with left is beft. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Uh, you're a you regularly, you regularly, takes four sacrifices, but seven strength and seven heart. Okay. The pack rat, the prudent pack rat, never doubt the utility of a well stocked pack. Let's see what it means. Trinket bearer, when a card bearing a sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Well, that sounds pretty good. Child 13, poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Many lives. When card bearing is situated to sacrifice, it does not perish. Hmm. So what's the good of that? I guess that's just so you can... I guess I see the point of it is, um... Well, if you play that, you're sacrificing something else for it. Hmm, I guess powering it up on that sacrifice altar light for strength, that's when it start having some sort of relevancy. I'm not sure what else you would do with that. Maybe just using it as a sacrifice. This pack rat card sounds awesome, but the irregularly like sounds cool, but I don't know how often you're gonna be able to sacrifice four at a time. Pack rat sounds maybe a little bit better overall so I wanna go with it. The sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry it onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. Tread cautiously into the wetlands. Okay, I'm going to look around the room one more time, and I think that I'm going to call it a stream momentarily. just want to see what's in here. Just after playing through that first area, in case there's anything new. But it's not really looking like it yet. Just want to kind of check it all out. Hmm. Curious about the smoke coming out of this. Can this be lit or something? Oh, there's a little teeth in this. Wonder where those went to. That's at least one little thing I discovered. 
and I assume that these are all the same puzzles I did earlier. So I won't bother with those. Um, I guess I should check just in case something changed. Uh, let's see. I totally forgot the solution to this. There we go. <laughs> Just need to add up the powers on that one. It's not too hard. Okay. And I don't see anything to interact with here still. Can't do anything with the door. It doesn't seem to be anything to interact with. Okay, I think I'll end it here, so let's just see about, oh, alter the deck. We can't do that. Okay, well, let's go to the start screen, see what happens. Okay, well, that gets us back to the main menu, so... I think I'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank. I'll have a replay of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.